Hello guys, what I'm going to talk to you about today is, I, I promised some more iMac coverage, and now I've got two Macs that I can show you a really cool feature. Now, this by no means is a new feature, but because I never had two Macs on the same network, I didn't quite know how to use it. Um, and that is the ability to, to rem remote access and control another Mac. So, um, I'm going to do it with my, my old MacBook, which ha I happen to need to use it today to, to clean some things off it because I'm going to be giving it to family. Um, uh, I, so, this is how you do it, and, and you can get full access to the computer uh, uh, as long as it's above and beyond turning it on. Although, um, when it, when it, if it's connected by LAN, you can turn it on, um, but we're not going to talk about that because mine's connected over wireless. Now, you can do this either way, no matter what Mac you have or how many Macs are on your home network. Um, yeah, but I, I'm just going to do it from my, from my Mac um, to my um, MacBook because that that's just easier and I don't have to deal with the awfully inflated screen resolution problem. Um, so let's get started. All you have to do is open up a finder window, hit the computer you want to remote control, and then uh, you have to connect to that computer using the, the administrative details. I recommend the source administrative details. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, now that we know it's a not a Mac, we can see that it's got a picture as opposed to that of the Windows machine that has just got a blue screen of death. Um, we we get get this panel up here saying that we're connected, and we can just hit share screen. The, this will open up an app called Screen Share, and then. Look how fast that was! It just faded in, and and now I'm controlling my my Mac. Now you can't actually put this full screen. I'm just um doing this at the at the pace of my Mac, and now I'm actually controlling my Mac. Um, if we go into about this Mac, you can see that it's my old Mac with an Intel Core 2 Duo 2.6 gigahertz. Post and if we go into more info and look at the com computer info, you can see model name is MacBook. Um, and I've been shocked at how well this runs. This is just like uh, it's absolutely fl flawless color representation, and oh, oh, everything happens almost instantly and I can do anything on this like when I um was doing it I was hit remote scripts running running remote scripts so the way to do this is as soon as you um place your cursor into the um window it'll take control of that particular computer and you can now use your mouse and sixteen your mouse and keyboard you can also show Show your clipboard with two computers and all kinds of stuff. Um, but of course, uh, only if you're logged in as an ad yeah. an administrator. Um, another cool thing you can do is you can um re restart from the interface, and the um the, the remote session will salvage. Salvage itself. You can you can right click, and I'm happen to be right clicking on the Mac. You can uh, use use keyboard shortcuts. So I'll use one to um go to uh, you can go to dashboard and things like that. And um, if we just. 
of all the gradients and things are absolutely are absolutely flawless just like um just like I was actually there you can see when it's loading up dashboard it's a little bit laggy but it's pretty um resource intensive so before I was running the script so all I had to do is entering my password and it's gonna run scripts I don't really know what to um, sh show you here but you can you can really do anything and uh, you can wake it from sleep so um, th this will actually wake from sleep so if I go to my um, Apple menu and say I want it to sleep yeah. It has actually go, gone to sleep, but then when I um, in, in, invoke some acti activity um, and reconnect the screen sharing session, it it will actually um, wake it back up for me. Um, so that's that's cool. Um, so so this this was just kind of demo of screen sharing as i said nothing new but very very cool if you need to access mac to mac remotely thank you for doing this video and i hope you've enjoyed it